New York Times carried a story this morning saying that there was a groundswell of support to bring Ukraine in quickly. If you were looking once again for evidence that Ukraine is on the verge of collapse, this is excellent evidence. Stop and consider this for a minute. Why would you now want to rush something that months ago you said could not occur for years? Remember the standard position was, well, you know, we weren't going to bring in Ukraine immediately anyway because they're not ready. That was the argument last year. Now suddenly we have to bring in Ukraine. Why? Well, I think the reason is very clear. Our position is eroding in Ukraine. The Ukrainian army is being devastated, exactly what the president of Poland said. This, of course, is what President Orban in Hungary warned would happen. It's happened. So if you know that you're losing and you don't want to admit that you've lost, if you're trying to regain face, there is a tendency historically to widen the war. How do you do that? Bring in Ukraine. The globalist allies in Berlin and other capitals in Western Europe in particular are all cheering this on because they're in the same boat as Biden. They're very much at risk of losing their positions in government across Europe. And this can be done without consulting the electorates. In other words, you just declare war over the heads of, of the people that elected you to power. Suddenly, can I'm it, sorry, we're at be, war now. Can it be done over the resistance of Viktor Orban, the president of Hungary? I would think not, simply because under the treaty, he has veto power. All it takes is one member that says, no, I'm not going to support this. But we've seen so many things happen that are unprecedented, frankly, that violate our own United States Constitution on a routine basis. I mean, you know, we see a lot of evidence now, it's been published, that they want to recall experienced pilots from the Air Force and the Navy to come back in and fly. They're offering them bonuses. But as part of this, they've also been told there's a private firm that may be willing to hire you to fly for Ukraine. In other words, we're talking uh, something like the flying tigers emerging for Ukraine. I mean, this is lunacy. This will bring us into war with Russia as well. This, this is, is not a, 1936. This is also unconstitutional.